In health news, it is a common complaint that you hear from runners, back and knee pain. But there's one procedure that's getting people back on track. Health and wellness reporter Sonia Azad is here to explain. Sonia. Yeah, Marie, Kobe Bryant has done it. Peyton Manning has used it. And now you can too. People with osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis are easing joint pain in their knees, their hips, and their shoulders. And it's all done using your own stem cells. Well, I started having knee problems when I was 38 years old. Betty Hudson has lived an active life for 71 years. I broke my knee skiing. She's been through surgery and steroid injections, but when arthritis set in, she could barely walk. So she tried something else, stem cell therapy. And that's where we get the healing. Dr. Bill Johnson takes adult stem cells from your own fat, concentrates them, then puts them into an area that doesn't heal well on its own. We're able to concentrate those healing cells and get healing and rejuvenation where left to themselves those tissues can't. Injured cells release messengers called growth factors, which attract stem cells to where the damage is, telling them what to do. We watched the retrieval process up close, which took no more than 15 minutes. It takes longer to separate the stem cells. Then the final step is injecting them back into the problem area, knees, hips, or shoulders, for instance. Then the patient can go home. We went to the fair yesterday, and uh, I walked uh, about five miles, and I had no pain in my knee. Betty had the procedure twice and says her left knee is back in commission, and her travel schedule is packed. They went on a family cruise to Ireland. When I got off the ship, I walked on this cobblestone street, and the pedometer said that I walked six miles that day, and I did it virtually pain-free. Now she's planning to get back on her skis this winter. I probably will take it very easy because of my age and of my other bones. <laughs> By the way, this is not covered by insurance, but Dr. Johnson says he wouldn't be surprised if it is in the next three to five years. Right now, the procedure would cost you around $6,000 for that first round. Sonia Azad, Channel 8 News. Blast from the past for 